A few months ago, I wrote an article for Resort Trades magazine suggesting that AI might even supplant surveys in gathering customer feedback. Boy, was I off base. Stay tuned to learn why. Hello, and welcome to the Resort Trades Learning Center. While you're here, please go ahead and help us bring you relevant and useful videos by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. I'm Sharon Scott Wilson, publisher of the Timeshare Industries premier media source, Resort Trades. And with me uh, today is Bob Kobeck, who gave me a quick call after he read my article and straightened me out uh, big time. So welcome, Bob. Uh, I appreciate your straightening me out and we being willing to show up and and kind of give us a lowdown on how business is really being conducted today. Hi, Sharon. You know, I should tell you that there was also a lot right about that article. Oh, well, I mean, you, that's you, good. <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, it, AI is not going to replace surveys. AI will enhance surveys. Oh. We, we use AI quite a bit in our survey system. Well, that's good. Well, I put together a couple of questions for you. Uh, one, I wanted to you, if you could fill us in on how AI and surveys work together. Well, yeah, in, in, a, in an intelligent survey, when I mean intelligent survey, they, the, the type that you may have professionally done or have, even if it's internal, professionals are building for you. There's always an opportunity, for example, for what are called verbatim comments. In other words, on a scale of one to five, how was your experience? Uh, if you just give a one and then you move on, you're not telling me why. That kind of makes it a so what question. So I'm going to drop down and drill down a little bit. Say, tell me why you gave me that score. Those verbatim comments in our particular case, those verbatim comments are then scrubbed through a filter with an AI based sentiment analysis tool that in, in, the, in the hardcore vernacular, it takes the unstructured data and turns it into structured data. So I can determine true sentiment analysis based on the frequency of words. So the word, the agent was friendly, the agent was bad, the agent was this. I talked to several agents. Each one of those words will pick up and come up and determine whether or not that was given, that was given in, a, in a sense of praise or problems or suggestions. So, and, and I mean, let, you know, let's just step back just a second if I can. Let's define AI for just one minute here. And because what, you know, AI is in the news right now, it's in the headlines, but we have to remember that there was a, there was a computer built in the fifties that played checkers. I mean, we have to remember that there, that Webster, that IBM AI tool played on Jeopardy and was actually beaten by a Jeopardy contestant. So AI is not new. What's new is the chat GPT, where um, if you're using chat GPT, I would tell you that you would be very wise to check it because odds on favorite, when you use it and it comes out and it produces a product for you, it's probably going to be wrong. So you need to always make sure that you're verifying the information that chat GPT comes back with. Those are my words. Those are the words of the guy that perfected the chat GPT. Yeah, absolutely. That, that cleared up a little bit. I mean, in, in, you know, in the survey, in the survey world, uh, if you're not employing AI, you've got a real poor survey system. Kind of like what goes into that second question. Well, I was going to say, you're already addressing <laughs> the second question with a very good answer. Obviously, uh, surveying monkey is just, it is, it's a monkey. <laughs> well, it's, you know, there, there are times when we will have, we will refer people to survey monkey. If, if they need a short snapshot with limited reporting, but they just yeah. need 
know, and it's a very limited audience. Um, in our case, what we do is particularly in the resort industry, which was the earliest adopter of of uh, of customer feedback anywhere. I mean, you think about RCI, the comment card system that you referred to in your article. They've been doing that for forty years, yeah. and you know, one time they were doing everything manually, now they're doing everything you know through automation. And, and the, the, the real thing about doing it in, if you, you could track trends, we track um, how did you do last year compared to this year, there's an awful lot of reporting. In our case, without sounding too commercial, we have 70 different templates and we support 40 languages. You can't build that with SurveyMonkey. Right. You can try, but it's not gonna happen, it will, you know. SurveyMonkey is a great tool if you need a snapshot. Well, I know that you all did a couple of surveys for resort trades. And boy, you uh, really drilled down on uh, getting some good information for us. And we really did appreciate it. Oh, here's a significant point that I think I should make too, Sharon. First of all, you were a good client. You paid attention. You listened. Uh, you listened to what we said. And that, to me, remembering that, by the way, November 9th, uh, Mobius is going to be 25 years old. Yes. And Mobius. And, and you look so young. <laughs> well, i tell you something. That's a big deal. I'm, we're putting together some stats on how many businesses make it that long. There aren't That's that many. But the interesting point to that, though, I think, is that at our core, we're a consulting firm. We're a business process design consulting firm. So when you're talking to us about doing your feedback needs, we're getting embedded into your business. Right. We're looking at it from the standpoint of what is your marketing department going to need? What is your property management group going to need? What is your sales group going to need? And we try to make it an enterprise system so that data is shared across across your, your, your business units. Right, right. Well, that's terrific. And maybe I hope one day that we can use your services for, for Tim's business. Uh, he, he has a, for those that don't know, he has an RV uh, community in Tennessee, uh, 250 homes, all with attached RV garages. So uh, well, we got all these, we try to collect emails and advertise on Facebook. And maybe there's a way to uh, use our emails to survey our prospective clients. Well, there always is a question that you want to ask. And, you know, it, it's kind of like every now and again, I, I'm fortunate enough to talk to a group of salespeople about the importance of feedback and what it means to them. And one of the things I always point out is that you're only one question away from a sale. You're always one question away from a sale. As far as working for Tim, he Tim would get the brother-in-law pricing anyway. So I'd love to work. <laughs> hey, I think we uh, we got a free uh, survey from you during a uh, care meeting a few years back. Well, you paid for that, though. You you contributed. Oh, we already used it. Oh. Well, you you paid you contributed money to care. Um, oh, if, that's if, true. It was an auction item. Yeah, and that worked out really well. You know, for for care, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure we can pull that data up and resend it to you if it'll help. Okay, okay. Well, if, if you don't mind, I'm going to just intrude a minute to give ourselves a little plug. If there are any viewers who are not familiar with Resort Trades uh, Media, we have a print publication, we have an e newsletter that's weekly, uh, and a website that we kept reg. We keep updating regularly that keeps you current. All this is free to the user. So we would encourage you to sign up and also please subscribe to the e-newsletter and give us comments uh, on our uh, various social media platforms. It really helps support us so that we can keep bringing you free stuff. <laughs> so appreciate it, Bob. Uh I had a final question for you, and that was I wanted to know a little bit more about these other 
uh, services that you bring to other industries? The, uh, the, the first one I'll just mention is the employee feedback. With COVID, um, you know, COVID seems to be a milestone in our, all of our lives. A lot of things happened. A lot of things changed. And before COVID, uh, when when we were doing employee type surveys, we were determining whether or not that employee was good enough to work for us. That's really flipped. Where now we're surveying employees to find out whether or not we're good enough for them to work for, for me. So. Mm -hmm. The, the, the script has flipped considerably. So now when we're doing surveys, we're asking about us rather than them. Um, mm -hmm. So employee feedback business is really one that's really popping. And that's cross industries. There's no no single industry that, that isn't looking at that and should be looking at that. Mm -hmm. The other one is the healthcare industry. And I got to tell you, that's a hard one, man. It When you say healthcare, it's kind of like what part of healthcare are you talking about? The places where we're focused is on the patient journey and on clinical trials. So it's a big departure from our hospitality services. But interestingly enough, in many cases, the key, perf the key performance indicators, KPIs, are yes. pretty much the same. Was yeah, I bet. Was it clean? Were they friendly? Was it you know the things that matter uh, for a loyalty program to bring patients back? Yeah. Wow. And there was another one, was there, or third one? Those are, that's employee experience, patient oh, experience. Employee, yeah, yeah. And customer count. Patients count, customer count, employee count. Everything and counts. <laughs> it all counts, part of the count. <laughs> www.mobiusvp.com. Okay, great. Well, We're hard to find it. <laughs> well, Bob, I really appreciate it. And again, forgive Forgive me if uh, my article was kind of flew in the face of uh, better wisdom. Well, and like I said, a lot of it was a lot of it was accurate. I mean, you want me to give you an example? Sure. <laughs> you quoted you quoted an IBM statistic that said eighty nine percent of the data collected in a survey goes unused. Ah, oh. that's, that's true if you don't use the system, the AI based system of determining sentiment analysis. Yeah. Well, if you go the survey monkey route. You're not going to get it. Yeah. So that's a very good point. Well, Bob, I, I sure appreciate your time. It's okay, Sharon. We always, <laughs> and I always have something to talk about. If it's not this, it's always something else. Yes. And uh, I'll look forward to sharing more with you, particularly, uh, as the year goes goes forward. Well, we'll see you at the next art event, I'm sure.